Alrighty, so today we're gonna go ahead and learn how to do a chicken soup just like my mom does it at home. We will be going over the ingredients of what you'll need, so let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need a, an entire chicken. Uh, how my mom likes to clean the chicken is that she'll rub salt and lemon on it just to start preparing it. So you wanna do this first. You will be needing a soup pot this big. If you do not have one, it is a good investment. You're also going to be needing some consomme de pollo like this one as well as some garlic, six clovers to be specific, five zucchinis, five potatoes, three chayotas, some cilantro, two tomatoes, and half of a white onion, one green pepper, and a bag of pasta shells. You will only be using half the bag. Before getting started, you do want to make sure that your chicken is ready to use as well as all your other ingredients. First thing you want to do is get your soup pot and fill it up with water almost halfway. Then you're going to put the six clovers in and you're going to let that boil. As your water is boiling, remember to have your chicken ready because as soon as the water is done boiling, you will need to put the chicken inside the water. So now that our water is boiling, we're going to go ahead and put the chicken inside. So after putting the chicken inside, we just let it sit there basically and we're going to get started on our vegetables. Let's start off by peeling all five of the potatoes. After peeling them, you're just gonna go ahead and put them into some water so they can soak. Now that all five potatoes are peeled, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the chayote. First, you're going to cut off the bottom and then the top, how my mom is showing. And you're going to repeat these for all three chayotes. After cutting the bottom and the top, you're gonna get started on the peeling. Once you're done peeling it, you're just gonna put it alongside with the potatoes that we previously put away, like this. All right, so it's been 10 minutes since we put the chicken into the pot. So we're just gonna go ahead and add some seasoning. As you can see, the water is already boiling, or it should be. Now this is where the seasoning comes in, how my mom does it. She'll just grab a regular spoon. One, two, three. No measurement required, that's why we need to taste the soup. So after putting the seasoning in, let's just go ahead and lower the fire a little bit. What my mom likes to do is that she'll stab the chicken with the fork so to let the flavor soak in. After adding the seasoning, we're gonna start chopping up the vegetables. So we're gonna go ahead and bring them back in the bowl that we place them in. We're gonna rewash them and we're gonna start the chopping. So for the potatoes and the chayote, we're going to want to do them into thirds like that. We're gonna repeat this for all of the vegetables. According to my mom, the chayote is going to be the first vegetable that we're going to put into the soup because it does take longer to get soft. Now that we have the potato and the chayote done, we're just going to go ahead and leave it in the bowl soaking in the water. We're going to start washing our zucchini. Remember to wash it real good. And then we're going to start off by cutting off the tips. After cutting the tips, you're going to cut the zucchini into thirds like we did the potato and the chayote. And you're going to do this to all five of the zucchinis. You can put it in the same bowl that the potato and the chayote are in. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get started with the tomato, onion, and the green pepper. So we'll start off by washing the tomatoes. We will have to cut this into thirds and then place it into the soup pot. I didn't record when I placed it in, so that was on my bad. But after placing in the tomatoes, we're going to get started on our green pepper. And you're just going to cut it like this. You're going to get about five pieces from the green pepper. And then you're going to have to wash it and make sure that no seeds are in the green pepper. After washing it thoroughly, you're going to go ahead and place it into the pot, joining the chicken, the tomatoes, and now the green peppers. Finally, we're going to get started on our onion. For our half onion, we will cut it into thirds. That will be our number three. Everything is in threes. So our onion, one, two, three. And we're gonna add this onto the soup as well. 
All right, so we just put in the onions, tomatoes, and the green pepper. So let's just check on our soup. Go on ahead and taste it. Then we're gonna add some salt. My mom did use a spoonful. And for everything you cook, you always must taste it. So make sure that you taste it. And as we're waiting to put the chicken in the oven, just make sure that you're flipping it to make sure that it cooks from all sides. It does look a little destroyed, but that's fine. No worries. Now we're gonna go ahead and separate the chayote squash from the rest of the vegetables. And we're gonna put these into the soup. They have to be going into the soup like the 10 minutes before the other vegetables. Since they are pretty hard, they need to be well cooked. So it's been 10 minutes since we preheat the oven. So now we're just gonna go ahead and take the chicken out of the pot. Um, before adding the chayote, that's the first thing we have to do. Take the chicken out. I didn't put this into the ingredients list in the beginning of the video, but you will be needing a tray that you could put the chicken in that can go into the oven. We decided to use glass. As soon as you take out the chicken, make sure to place it in the oven. Now it's been about eight minutes, so we're gonna go ahead and put everything else into the soup. We're just gonna rewash our vegetables that were left in the water. We're gonna go ahead and drain the water before we put it into the soup because we don't want to add too much water to the soup or any more water. So we're just going to go ahead and start placing the vegetables a couple at a time just not to get too many splashing because remember the water is boiling hot. After you add the vegetables, once again, make sure to taste the soup to make sure that it's properly seasoned and we're just going to add the half a bag of the pasta shells and just make sure to give it a good stir. If done right, your soup should be looking like this. So it's been 10 minutes since we put in everything else into the soup. Now let's go ahead and look at it. It's boiling, everything looks good, it's done. All right, of course we do still have our chicken in the oven. It's still toasting up, but it looks nice and golden. Since the soup has finished, the chicken has been toasting in the oven for approximately 40 minutes. Now you can go in there and flip it at the 20 minute mark after the soup was done, but it's totally up to you. And it should look a little like this. Now it's ready to serve.